We went with the wardrobe idea. It's part of it. There's a, a bigger box that goes up here with doors. Nice. And then I was going to put a rod, if you want, to go across there where you can hang stuff. Whatever you create there with, for shoes, definitely make sure it can fit high tops. These cushions are not doing it for me as far as the look. I don't think the colors are really blending very well. And Rahil's doing all the selling? Mm -hmm. yeah. Giving him a little bit of trouble, but so far he's uh, come, coming through with it. Rahil's having a lot of trouble with the upholstery. He's jammed up three machines. Can I sew on top of this on the leather? I've never done sewing before on a, on a sewing machine. You're probably just going to have to start over, hun. Man. Getting the upholstery perfect is difficult. Doing this in a challenge is very risky, but at the same time, I learn really fast and I figure things out. The problem is that their stitching is too short, and what's literally doing is creating almost like, you know when they perforate paper and you yeah. tear it? Yeah. That's what's happening to the leather right now, because the stitch is too tight. OK, you can stop sewing. Why? He doesn't like the gray. Really? Hates it. Yeah. yeah. It's just going to show all those lines and just don't even touch those corners. Killing me. Can you hold that for a second? This base doesn't work. I f up. The balancing point is way off, and I need to move the chair in relation to the frame. All right, we got a little problem. Uh oh. There's no place to anchor the chair at the back. I might have to put that back arm underneath the chair. The only other option is to actually have the chair leaning right against a solid wood piece that goes between the two. Can we put two stretchers, like, front to back that would hold it, and then the one in the back is just holding the rocker? Yeah. This one's totally on me. If we go down for this, there's a good chance that they'll send me home. 